Cliff, we talked about the glory of run of the uh, the pack in the 20s, but uh, it, it wore on. Curly got a couple of more championships, Cliff, but uh, by uh, you know the late 40s, how did it turn sour? Some fans started to grumble about the fact that Hurley, Curly had gone Hollywood. Um, in 1932, the Packers took a barnstorming trip to Hawaii. The end of the season, and at that time the Packers would take an eastern road trip, play as many as four, five, even six games on the road. In 32, uh, they were gone. They were on the road for the last 32 game, 32 days of the season. Played, I think it was six games. They returned home. They were here for less than 48 hours, and Johnny Blood had arranged a barnstorming tour to California. So they took the train to L.A. Um, caught the USS Mariposa in L.A. for the boat ride to Hawaii. And on that boat ride, two players were uh, flirting with a woman who was much younger than Curly, uh, who had won the Miss California contest just a few years earlier. All right. And as they were fighting over her, Curly interceded, won the woman. When they came back from Hawaii, which was another month later, so essentially they were gone for like 70 days. Wow. He told Marguerite, his wife of by then um, 13 years, 14 years, that he wanted a divorce. That was his high school sweetheart. And he ended up marrying this Miss California. They had a brief marriage, and uh, then they got divorced. And then he married the uh, ex-wife of a Hollywood film producer. So he spent a lot of time in California. And he was accused of both going Hollywood and some of the executive committee members felt like times had changed in the NFL and he needed to be minding the store more during the off season, which he wasn't. I think that was part of it. Um, they started losing in the late 40s, but two things embittered two members, longtime allies, people who were with him from the beginning before the 1945 season, he replaced Dr. W. W. Kelly, who was one of the former presidents of the Packers, one of the Hungry Five, one of the original members of the executive committee as team physician. And before 1947 season, he replaced George Whitney Calhoun, the co-founder, as his PR guy with George Strickler from Chicago. Neither of those went over well, and um, from that day forward, Calhoun and Kelly were bitter enemies, along with the local attorney, Gerald Clifford. Lee used to tell me that uh, Calhoun, to the day he died in 1963, told people he wanted to outlive Lambeau so he could pee on his grave. <laughs> <laughs> That's how bitter it was. Wow. Wow. That's... And um, and then you know, Curly was still playing the Notre Dame box as late as 46, a version of it still right. in the late 40s. And the, and things turned sour on the field. And Calhoun and uh, Kelly and Clifford couldn't get the votes to oust him at a bitter meeting in 1949. But Lambeau then resigned shortly after that. That was the meeting at what? Was that at the... Uh, Brown County the, Courthouse. Yeah. October, November right. 30th, 1949. Yeah. Still probably the most contentious meeting in Packers history.